I thank all of you for coming together to take on the challenge of anti-Muslim discrimination and hatred. Anti-Muslim hate crimes and other forms of bigotry are on the rise. And the same applies to xenophobia, racism and anti-Semitism. In addition, many people are victims of intolerance and suspicions that may not appear in statistics, but degrade people's dignity and our common humanity. In times of insecurity, communities that look different become convenient scapegoats. And we must resist cynical efforts to divide communities and portray neighbors as the other. Discrimination diminishes us all. It prevents people and societies from achieving their full potential. Let us draw strengths from the values of inclusion, tolerance and mutual understanding that are at the heart of all major faiths and the United Nations Charter. As the Holy Quran states, nations and tribes were created to know one another. People everywhere need to feel that their cultural identities are valued and at the same time to have a strong sense of belonging to the community as a whole. As societies become even more multi-ethnic and multi-religious, we need political, cultural and economic investments in cohesion so that diversity is rightly seen as a richness, not a threat. The United Nations is launching an effort to promote respect, safety and dignity for all. We call it the Together campaign. Together, let us stand up against bigotry and for human rights. Together, let us build bridges. And together, let us transform fear into hope. For our Muslim brothers and sisters and for all humanity. Thank you.